My name is Jaina. I'm a librarian with the West Portal Branch Library, and this is, dem this is a demonstration on productivity tools Trello and Airtable. But first, I wanted to talk about uh, this land acknowledgement. So I'm just going to read this off. Welcome to the unceded land of the Ohlone tribal people. We acknowledge the many Ramatush Ohlone tribal groups and families as the rightful stewards of the lands on which we reside. SFPL is committed to uplifting the name of these lands and community members from these nations with whom we live together. SFPL encourages you to learn more about first person culture and land rights and are committed to hosting events and providing educational resources on these topics. So what are productivity tools? Let's see, boost your higher ability with knowledge on common productivity tools like Trello and Airtable. Productivity tools are also good for small businesses looking to modernize and communicate seamlessly with their teams. So these are the two logos for Trello and Airtable. And what are they? They are, again, online productivity and collaboration tools. So here is a broad overview of Trello. This is what Trello looks like. We'll go over all of the components shortly, but this is just to show you what Trello looks like um, as the beginning. So here's a short video as well. Let's just play this. Okay, now let's dig a little bit deeper into Trello. So a Trello board has only four key components, boards, lists, cards, and the menu. So the board, which is what you'll primarily be looking at, it represents a project or a place to keep track of information. So you can use it to launch a website, plan a vacation. It's where you're going to organize your tasks and collaborate with your team members, whether that's your colleagues, your family, or your friends. So again, this is a Trello board. This houses all of the other components right here. A list is one of the components of the board and it keeps cards organized in their different stages of progress. Um, they can be used to create a workflow where cards are moved across lists from start to finish, or simply act as a place to keep track of ideas and information. You can add as many lists as you like to a board and you can arrange them as 
in any form or pattern that you prefer. So for example, here, these lists show progress from to do to doing and then done. So next we're gonna talk about cards. Cards are the fundamental unit of a board. They represent the tasks that you need to be completed. So they can be anything from, uh, a, depending on what you're using Trello for, a blog post that, can be, that needs to be written, uh, something that needs to be remembered, um, or just some activity that needs to be done. So uh, again, so the board, is the entire thing of Trello. The list is where you add cards. And within the cards, you can add due dates, descriptions. You can have your team members comment. You can add a checklist. You can add labels. So the card is really where you're doing most of your work. Now, the menu, which is the top right of the board, this is where you manage members of your team. You can control settings, you can filter cards, and uh, depending on which version of Trello you're using, whether it's the free or the business class, you can also add power-ups. Power-ups are additional applications you could tie to Trello. For example, you can add a calendar, you can add Google Drive, you can add Slack. These are all other programs that you can use in conjunction with Trello. The menu also shows you the activity uh, that's happening across your board. So see down here on the bottom right, it says Brian Servino marks the due date on book flight to Hawaii complete. So you can see what your team members have done on the menu. So I'm gonna show you a sample Trello board. I'm gonna click through here. And again, let's go over the different components. So this entire thing is called a Trello board. These things here are called lists. And within each list, you have cards. So this is a card. You can add votes, you can add description. You can see the activity that's happened on this card, whether a team member has completed a checklist or, um, has done anything in relation to this card, you'll see the activity here. You can also attach picture files or links. You can see that here. You can add any kind of hyperlink. You can even add YouTube. I love you. Mishka, I love you. Mishka, I love you. <laughs> so you can add any kinds of links to a card. You can also add checklists. This one doesn't have a checklist. Let's see. So I'm going to add a checklist. We're going to just call it checklist. And you can add different items to the checklist. So like laundry, um, dishes. So for example, if you're keeping track of chores, um, garbage. So you can add, and you can also assign due dates to each individual item on your checklist. So say I wanna, well, actually due dates is part of the uh, business version of Trello, but you can still add checklists and mark them off. And then a little progress bar shows up showing you've done 33% of the items on your checklist. And it'll go up as you click complete on each item on your checklist. Uh, you can also add color-coded labels. So I've added an SFPL green label to this card. Uh, and you can make as many lists as you need to, depending on your project. So again, you can do a to-do list, a being done list, or a completed or done list. Um, and then you can drag cards to any list that you've created. So for example, if you have something on the to-do, once you're done with it, you can move it to completed. And you can play around with Trello to see how you'd like to organize your information. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. Trello is also nice because it's available on Android phones like Samsung or Google Pixel. And it's also available on Apple iOS. So your iPhones, your iPads, et cetera. 
Um, and it works in real, both apps work in real time. So anything you do on the desktop version of Trello will be reflected on the app that you have on your phone and vice versa. Okay, let's move on to Airtable. Let's watch a little video of Airtable. Whether you're opening your, your own restaurant, producing a hit TV series, or designing a new clothing line, Airtable helps you create anything you can imagine. Unlike a traditional project management system, Airtable lets you connect your information and build the perfect workflow all in one place. You can organize your information with rich field types like checkboxes, drop downs, and drag and drop file attachments. Your projects aren't one dimensional. Your tools shouldn't be either. With Airtable, create different tables for different information and easily connect them as necessary. Focus on the information you need when you need it. Filter, group, and sort to answer questions quickly or get a different perspective. With Airtable, you don't have to compromise to collaborate. Keep your whole team on the same page by creating different views for different needs. Switch seamlessly between grids, calendars, Kanban boards, and galleries to interact with the same information in different ways. You can even collect new information with a custom form. If you want to discuss something with your team, no need to switch apps. Send messages right where the work happens, in Airtable, and any changes that are made are instantly saved and synced across all devices. Supercharge your workflow with apps you can mix and match. Create Gantt charts, custom documents, maps, and org charts, all in Airtable. Ready to get started? Pick one of our ready to customize templates. Get inspired by the community in Airtable universe or create something from scratch. What you build is unique and your tools should be too. Airtable, create your way. Okay, so that was an overview of Airtable. Now let's dig a little deeper again. So Airtable, Airtable has only two components. Um, hang on. So the two components of Airtable are the workspace and the base. The workspace is a collection of bases shared among a team of people. A base belongs to a workplace and it's a database that contains all the information you need for a specific project stored in one or more tables. So this is what Airtable looks like. Your workspace, for example, would be on um, this example would be Hillwood Hospitality Group Marketing and Hillwood Hospitality Group Global Operations. So these two are your workspaces. Within your workspaces, you'll have different bases, um, different tables. So under the marketing workspace, we have a marketing hub base a digital video production base, a marketing org chart base, and so on. So again, the workspace is a collection of bases, so a collection of these things that contain the information you need for a project. Um, let's move on. So here's an Airtable example. I'm gonna click through so you can see it. So Airtable is a lot like a, a lot like a spreadsheet. You have different columns for different types of information, and then you have different rows for the information that's within those columns. Uh, you can make as many columns as you need to, depending on your project. So for example, this table, this base has all these different guides for Airtable. So you have five steps to get started in Airtable, meet Airtable, get started faster, getting started in Airtable, how to create a form, how to link records. So these are all different things you can do in Airtable and they're, they're just listed under name. And then you can also add cover images. You can upload drag and drop cover images like this one. Um, this list or this column here shows you how you can label 
different um, options for different projects. This is also a different labeling system here. You can also have a description and you can also include links. So each column can be a variety of field types. So here, if you click through, let me do that one more time. If you click the little arrow on a column and click customize field type, you'll get a list of different field types that you can apply to this column. So there's link to another record. So you can add a link, uh, single line text for a short field of text, long text for a longer, longer text, um, an attachment checkbox, multiple select, so multiple choice, single select, one choice. Uh, you can add a column for all your collaborators, all your team members. You can also do dates, phone numbers, emails, numbers, et cetera. There are a lot of different fields, field types that you can use for your column. So any, pretty much anything you can imagine, um, you can use as a field type for a column. What else is on here? So when you click through, you can expand a record to see all of the information for that record or for that row in one place. So see, I clicked through, I clicked that little arrow, the little double arrow here that says expand record. And then now you can see all of that information that's on the table in one place for this particular entry. Um, it says here, no comments or changes to this record yet, but any changes you make to this record will show up here in this right column under activity so that you can keep track of any changes that have occurred for your uh, entry here. So for example, I'm gonna change the name, five steps to get started in Airtable to Steps, six steps to get started in Airtable. And then once I click out of it and go back in, now it shows you that I edited this record from five to six steps to get started in Airtable. The free version of Airtable only keeps about two weeks of your revision history. So it only keeps about two weeks of any of the changes you've made to a record. Um, but usually, that's more than enough. I mean, if you wanted to upgrade and extend your history, you can do that um, by paying for like the premium version of Airtable. Um, and just like a spreadsheet, you can filter, you can group, you can sort, and you can change colors, and you can share this view with anybody else or create a form so that people can fill out you can create a form so people would fill out information on it and then it would display in this table format. Um, the other neat thing about Airtable is that you can have different views. So you can create a view here on the bottom left. You can do a grid, which is what we're looking at right now. You can do a form. Uh, you can also do calendar view. If you had due dates, you would see the calendar view. Gallery view would show your records as visual cards. And it would show, for example, if I did a gallery view of this table, you would see the images. It would pull the images from each record. So you can see it in a gallery view. So this is gallery view. Kanban looks a lot like Trello in a way. So you can see each column of information divided visually. Um, and then now we can go back to grid view, which is the table view. And again, you can add team members, um, you can do automations. So for example, if one of these records has a particular status, and once you change it to that status, it would move that information to a different table and a different, or a different base. So you can do automations to help you um, custom different views or different tables. Here are some suggested automations. So 
you could automate sending a weekly digest of the changes that have occurred on your table. You can post to Twitter, you can send a Slack message when a record is updated a particular way. Uh, you can create a new record if you um, add something to a different date. You can update records. So when a Google Calendar event is changed, update a record in, in Airtable as well. So the functionality of Airtable is pretty extensive. Um, there's a lot you can do with it and a lot you can automate with it, which is really nice when you're working on a project. You can automate things so you don't have to think about moving information if you want, if you don't want to. You can have Airtable do it for you automatically with automations. Uh, another nifty feature is history. So it's this little clock icon and you hover over it, it says history. You can take snapshots of a moment in time of your table so that if somebody makes a mistake on the table and it's a big mistake, you can revert back to a moment in time when you took a snapshot and Airtable saves it for you for up to two weeks. So for example, I took a snapshot on May 8th and May 11th so if I click on one of these, it'll revert the table back to what it was like at this point in time on May 11th at 1.17 p.m. It'll take you back to that time and you could start from there instead of um, having to go back and undo a bunch of different changes. So that's a nice feature of Airtable. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. Um, just like Trello, Airtable is available on Apple iOS and on Android operating systems. Again, like Trello, any changes you make on the desktop or browser version of Airtable, um, they will also reflect on the app versions of Airtable. So you can always take Trello and Airtable with you and make any changes on the go. 